Hey, it's Keith. Today I'm going to be looking at a movie that was released in 1979 called California Dreamin'. And this movie was primarily shot in Avila Beach. There's also a scene from San Luis Obispo at the Fremont Theater, which I have included in this. But it's nice to be able to see Avila, the old Avila, before the, the cleanup. So here you've got the oil tanks sitting on top of the hill there, overlooking uh, Pirate's Cove. And then this little pan here um, has this bus going into Avila, which I don't know if a bus ever goes to Avila, but in this movie it did. So here it is coming down. You'll see it uh, uh, front street with the old buildings. The motel is still there from um, um, back in the day. And then uh, here you see the old barn on the corner of First Street and then the Avila Grocery, which is the light blue building that the bus stops at and this is a current uh, video of Avila and this is the current to uh, when I did this video it's January 2023 and you can see that uh, quite a bit of difference with the buildings that were rebuilt after they tore up the entire street and hauled away all the dirt and hauled away all the sand and brought in new sand and new dirt and uh, the construction began and so this movie was uh, shot in 77 and 78 through 78 uh, it was going to be released in in 78 but um, it was going up against Big Wednesday another sur uh, surfing movie and they decided to delay it so Dennis Christopher is the star of this uh, and a nerdy guy from Chicago that's coming to uh, see, you know, new lifestyle. I, I love that one. That's not Avila. I can tell you that. I've never seen a wave that big at Avila. But um, they also filmed in Santa Monica. So I think that the surfing scenes are Santa Monica. And that guy there doing the metal detector, he's in it a couple times, just uh, doing the same thing. But, um, uh, yeah, very interesting to see the old Avila. Oh, there's another... Uh, non Avila surf screen uh, scene there um, uh, I used to boogie board on on Avila Beach and I can tell you I've never saw a, mo uh, a wave that big um, but uh, in this movie it's it's at Avila and I and I think they call it State Beach is what they call this one now that's that's a typical Avila uh, waves and these surfers are going to be uh, out there quite a while waiting for that that one inch wave to come in and then this is, uh, there's two buildings that they primarily use. That one there, which was uh, like a, was supposed to be like a bikini uh, shop. And then the old barn here, which they put this big neon sign called Dukes on, is where the majority of the movie is, sh is shot um, from. So, and then um, Tanya Roberts was also in this movie. She wasn't the headline. Um, but it was early Tanya Roberts, and I, I read something on the uh, wiki page uh, that the director said that uh, there was a tenseness on the set because multiple cast members were smitten with Tanya Roberts. Um, this one I really like. This is the uh, old custom house. This is uh, the, the inside. I wish they had included a scene of the back patio on the outside in the back, but it's nice to see uh, the old custom house. And then this is a shot looking north. They didn't do many shots looking north. They did most of them looking south on the beach. And then this is another, uh, something in the plot where this, this guy uh, owned a garage and he, he welded himself in his car. But um, if you saw there, they have the old custom house um, on advertising around it. Also, there was uh, the Night's Rest from Pismo and Whaler's Inn. Um, so, and this just shows you the, the scene uh, uh, looking south, but also there's your Avila waves <laughs> sitting there. Um, and then this is Jennifer, um, Dennis, Jennifer, Dennis Christopher um, going to smoke a dube and then go to the Fremont and watch a surfing movie, which is kind of funny back in 1979. And then alcohol was pretty, pretty dominant in this in this movie, too, where the kids were just downing uh, out of out of bottles, just drinking away. Uh, and then you'll see Dennis Christopher coming here, walking down the sidewalk stoned. And he, he runs into a, a policeman. And I zoomed in on the patch. And it 
does look like San Luis Obispo police. So I'm not sure if this was a actual policeman they got for the movie or if they just borrowed the shirt. But I thought it was pretty funny just to see the guy glare at him. He goes, you're stoned. And then this is the, um, the snack bar of the Fremont Theater. So nice to see that. And then this is the restroom. And you'll notice here the, the drunk guy, um, you can see that whatever that is on his shirt goes about halfway down. And just, just make a note of that for a little bit later. And then not having the audio of the movie is kind of funny because um, it just makes this look pretty ridiculous. But it was a low-budget movie. Two million, I think, was the total cost of it. Um, and I don't think it really made much more at the box office than, than the two million. Um, but uh, there they are taking the guy, beating his head. That's him beating his head, not, not Dennis Christopher. And then Tanya Roberts is sitting outside of the Fremont, tapping her, tapping her fingers, going, where are they? Where are they? And then some other guy here with a souped-up car with a funny hat comes driving by. But uh, and finally, they, they bring this guy. Oh, there's the, the goofy car, and you'll see the, uh, um, the night's rest right there on that door going by, and here they are dragging him out. Now you see that that liquid on his shirt is kind of expanded all the way down at the bottom. I don't know what the liquid is. They have no problems touching it, so I don't think it could be a vomit, but who knows um, what it was supposed to be. Um, and they're just throwing him in the car, and you'll see uh, them drive away, but uh, also all the people walking down Monterey from the Fremont. I wonder if uh, how many extras maybe watching this can want to comment down in the in the comment section of your experience and then this is a shot of from dinosaur caves to the in pismo to the, the tennis court um and that's pretty much what i included in this you can see the movie online for uh, free streaming on a, on a site just, just google it hope you like it um and i will see you later <laughs>